presentation of scoreboard preseason show featuring 2009 football teams in the Northwest Kansas League on Smoky Hills Public Television is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Ag of Colby is your link to global marketing handling, shipping, and receiving grain for Kobe in all of Northwest Kansas. The foundation for farm marketing is Cornerstone Ag. Good luck to high school student athletes. Farm Credit of Western Kansas, providing financing and financial services for agriculture and agribusiness in Northwest Kansas. We urge you to support all schools in Northwest Kansas. Good luck to our high school student athletes for a successful fall season. Farm Credit of Western Kansas, financing ag for generations. Farm Implement and Supply Company Incorporated, specializing in New Holland tractors, combines, hay equipment, sales, parts, and service. With locations in Plainville and Kobe, we also offer Crestbuster, Great Plains, Sunflower, Rhino, and Lawn and Garden Equipment. We understand what it takes to keep Kansas agricultural producers going. Their success is our number one goal. Docs on Call of Kobe is available 24-7 with office hours from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Dr. Gary Slavens and staff take care of family medical needs from the newborn infant to the geriatric patient. Good luck, Kobe, and area high school student athletes. Frontier Ag Incorporated serves today's farmers with products, services, and market and news reports with 26 locations in nine Northwest Kansas counties. Frontier Ag provides seed, feed, fertilizer, chemical, and area application, fuel, grain, and offers service stations throughout the area. We support Northwest Kansas high school student athletes. Robert Presser Insurance Agency Atwood. Williams Brothers Supermarket Atwood. McDougal Sager Snodgrass Grain Company Atwood. Welcome to our 2009 edition of the uh, Northwest Kansas League preseason uh, coaches football show. And uh, joining me on the program, of course, will be all eight coaches today. I'm Rich Epp, your host, and uh, we are joined on our first segment by Scott Noble, the head football coach of the Rollins County Atwood Buffaloes. And uh, coach, welcome to this year's program. Well, I appreciate you doing this again. You know. Uh, there's something about football that uh, just kind of excites the average sports fan, and and uh, football is a little bit different than any other sport, I think. And and for you as a football coach, uh, it's not just a two month or three month out of the year deal; it's a twelve month deal. Isn't it? Oh, it it really is, and it's because of the passion that that all of us coaches have for the game of football. Uh, we start out, of course, in in later August go through the season and uh, once the season's over we immediately go back and start reviewing game film, reviewing tape, find out what we like, what we don't like, uh, start evaluating players and then of course during the summer seasons we uh, start our weightlifting programs, our conditioning programs. Uh, we do have some evening workouts now that the state has allowed us to do so just to be able to develop that team concept early in the summer has really helped us as, as well and keeps us busy. Yeah. Now you are starting your third year as head coach of the uh, of this ball club uh, in Atwood. Uh, and uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your team for this year. Uh, what kind of uh, numbers do you have? Uh, who do you lean on as far as leadership goes? Absolutely. We've got uh, 32 young men that have uh, chosen to come out for football. And I can tell you, Rich, coming into our third year, you can see the, the progress that we've made. Uh, the young men are starting to understand the concepts. They understand me, uh, our expectations as a coaching staff. And with that, we have developed great leadership in our program. Uh, we have four young men that were chosen captains. And out of those four, we had 14 football players get three or more votes from their teammates for captain. So you get a list of 14 young men on a captain's ballot, that's, that's quite impressive and it speaks volumes to us as coaches for our, uh, our team. When the, when the people go to a uh, Rollins County uh, football game this year, uh, uh, talk a little bit about your style. Are you changing anything offensively or defensively? You're in your third year, so I would assume uh, they're getting it down, so you probably wouldn't change much. What do we expect? Well, you're going to see pretty much the same thing from us. Uh, we certainly want to line up and run the football at you. Uh, that's something that uh, Atwood has been known for for years and years and years. And now that we're Rollins County, nothing has changed. Uh, we're go still going to line up and we're going to run the football at you. 
Uh, we do have an exceptional quarterback in Kevin Walters who is, uh, we're going to lean on him, some more decision making, as well as getting out and throwing the football, and we will do that. Uh, we've got some fine receivers to get the ball to, uh, and the core of our backfield is back. Of course, we lost Drew Baskell, who was a great player, but we have some great ones coming back in Jace Cook, James Rimley, and then we've got a sophomore boy, Kevin Ziegler, who is really showing some great promise. Now this is the final year of the Northwest Kansas League as we know it. Uh, not everybody plays everybody and uh, it's kind of been the way it's been the last few years. Uh, but uh, this league, this is the final year as we know it. Who do you think is the favorite for the, in the league race as you would see it? You know what? Our, our league has got great teams. Uh, Oakley is a great football team coached by Randall Rath who does a great job. Uh, St. Francis has a new coach in Coach Smith but I'm sure that they're going to be just as tough as ever. Kent Teeter has done a great job at Goodland. They'll continue to get better with them moving into his second year. And of course, Coach, coach uh, Gardner at Colby is, uh, you know, he's starting his third year along with me. So I'm sure that the schemes are coming around for him. And they did a great job last year as well. So uh, it's hard to pick a favorite. But Rich, if I would have to lean on, on one team, I would probably have to go with Coach Rath and the Oakley Plainsman this year. Now, uh, let's talk about one other thing uh, before we uh, wind it down in your segment here. You followed, of course, a legend uh, and a good friend of mine, but a legend in Kansas high school coaching, Dang Lankus, and you've got some great things in store uh, regarding him to share, the, uh, share that with the folks. Well, I'm glad you brought that up, Rich, because uh, Coach Lankus has done a lot for football and, and not only West Northwest Kansas, but he's done a lot for high school football as well. And uh, what we have going on is week four, which is our homecoming weekend against Oberlin. We are having a field dedication. We are also bringing back his first of three consecutive state championship teams. And we are going to dedicate the field and name it Dan Lankus Field. So for those of you out there who can make it to Atwood on week four, we sure would like to have you. Well, that'll be a special, special time. Uh for the people in Rollins County and for Atwood particularly, but it's a special time. Uh, Coach Noble, I think you would agree, not just uh, for your community, but for our league, uh, the Northwest Kansas League, and as you said, football in Kansas. Absolutely. I think it's a, it's a great honor to have someone like that in our community and to be able to give back to him uh, speaks volumes for our community and our programs as well. Thanks for joining us today, and uh, good luck to you this season. I appreciate that. Thank you. Coach Noble joining us on the program with the Rollins County Atwood Buffaloes. Stay tuned now. We'll have more coming along on this preseason show right here on Smoky Hills Public Television. <laughs>